I just found a very cool Chrome extension that will change the way you consume YouTube videos. This extension will auto-generate a transcript of any YouTube video you are watching, but that's not it. It will also grab that transcript with the click of a button, bring it to ChatGPT and ask Chat to create a nice summary of that video. And from there, you can use that information in so many different ways to create content, to dig deeper, or just to learn faster. So in this short video, I wanted to introduce you to that wonderful extension. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. This is the right place for you, my friend, if you want to learn about Canva or if you want to learn about AI and how to use these AI tools as a content creator. Today I'm reviewing a very cool Chrome extension that I just stumbled upon and I couldn't wait. I needed to share it with you guys. Also, very quickly, I want to apologize. My voice is not that well today. I've been talking a lot at Canva Studio London where we were invited by Canva to deliver some workshop over the end of last week and the weekend. But I thought this tutorial was important. That plugin is super cool. So I still wanted to shoot it today. So let's get started. So we are going to start from the Chrome Web Store. If you don't know how to get there, you can just Google Chrome Web Store. You should land on this page right here. So we are going to use the search bar and type for GLASP, G-L-A-S-P, YouTube. Glasp YouTube, All right? So we should see two different apps right here with the name Glasp. The first one will say Glasp Social Web Highlighting and YouTube Summary. And there is a second one right here called YouTube and Article Summary powered by ChatGPT. This is the one you want to install. Obviously here it is already installed on my computer, but you should be able to install this for free, completely free, by using this blue button right here and add that to your Chrome browser. All right, so once you have installed that extension, I will recommend to head over to YouTube where you should really see this in action. All right, so let's go to our YouTube channel and this will work with any videos, preferably videos under 20 minutes for the best result, but this will also work with longer videos. I will come back to that later in the tutorial. So let me show you how it works with this video right here. So I'm going to click on it to bring it full screen. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to another Ronnie tutorial. Okay, so this is the latest What's Hot episode that we've been publishing on the channel. So what you are looking for is this little box right here. It says transcript and summary. You should see this little logo, which is the GLASP logo. So what you want to do is to click on the little drop down arrow right here, and you should have your automatically generated transcript of the entire video together with timestamps. And if you click on any of these timestamps, the video will jump to that specific passage of the video. So that in itself is already pretty cool, but that's not groundbreaking because this is something that YouTube itself could do natively. What is super cool on the other hand is the other features that we have right here in that box right here next to the transcript and summary title. We have this button that says view AI summary. Now, if I click on that little chat GPT icon right here, what's going to happen is that a new tab is going to open and then I will have a long prompt being populated right here and it goes summarize the following in five bullet points and then I have the entire transcript of my video is being pasted here. I'll see you guys in the next video. So I have all the text, but then I have one, two, three, four, five, six different bullet points right here that start in the right way. Okay, so the video is an episode of What's Hot in Canva featuring 10 new features. The first new feature discussed is the native mockup app in Canva, which allows users to add and customize mockups directly in Canva. Second feature, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, I don't have the last five features. Now that is probably because my video was longer than 20 minutes, which is the recommended maximum length by the creators of this extension. Now, as I told you earlier, there are ways to go beyond this limitation, especially if you're using ChatGPT for free or the 3.5 model. I believe if you are using ChatGPT GPT-4, that number of characters, that number of tokens is larger than what exists in chat GPT 3.5. So that is in a nutshell how the extension works. Okay, so you generate your transcript here. You can very easily with the click of a button, ask chat GPT to create a summary of the content of that video based on that transcript. Again, it works better if your video is shorter than 20 minutes. As a matter of fact, let's go back to our channel and let's try to find a video which is 
is less than 20 minutes. Okay, so mine are probably not the right ones to choose. Let's choose this one from Diana. This one is 13 minutes. So I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to generate the transcript. You will see it's instantaneous. Don't need to wait for the transcript to be ready. I'm going to hit here, the ChatGPT logo here. Similarly, I will have my prompt already created for me. And there you go. I have my five bullet points. The video tutorial demonstrates how to easily create subtitles or captions for short video formats using Canva. The process involves breaking down a script into short sentences and then copying it into Canva's text box. And then we can see the last three bullet points kind of explain how she does it in the video. So this summary is much more complete, exhaustive, I would say, because my video was not longer than 20 minutes. Now, let me show you a few more things you should know about that YouTube summary extension. The first thing you should know is that you can actually access a bunch of different options of that plugin. So the way you do that, you look at your little extensions bar right here and locate this icon right here, YouTube and article summary powered by ChatGPT. So if you don't see that here, it's probably because it is not pinned to your extensions here on your URL bar. So the way to pin it, click on that little puzzle icon and then find the extension. It's called YouTube and article summary and click on the little pin right here. Now it should be added to your different icons right here. Once you do have it here, once you do see it here, click on it and you will access this page right here. So these are the settings of the app. The first thing you can do is to choose a different theme. So you have the light theme or the dark theme. I prefer to leave it on automatic. So it will change depending on the time of the day. Copy format. So you could have plain text or markdown. So markdown will probably add some formatting to the answer of your summary. The model that ChatGPT is going to be using to power these summaries. So this is interesting. And I believe free users of ChatGPT will not have that many options here. I do have the options because I'm a ChatGPT plus user. So I'm going to set that to GPT-4 by default from the app right here. You can choose the language in which the summary is going to be produced. I'm going to leave that to English. Okay. And then, and this is probably the most important part of that settings page, your actual prompt. So by default, it will say something like summarize the following in five bullet points. Now, five bullet points for a video, especially like a detailed video, like the ones I just showed you is relatively basic. So maybe we could change that. We could tweak that to have more robust summaries of our videos. And I would absolutely recommend you do the same. So let's come up with another prompt that will give us better results. All right. So let's start the same way. Summarize the following and give me a detailed breakdown of all the important points mentioned in this video. Okay, so do not skip any important data. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Let's try it like so. And then if you continue scrolling, you can see a couple of examples. So what's the key takeaways from the following? Extract the gist of the following. Summarize the following for a sixth great audience. Okay, so you could also ask ChatGPT to use a certain tone of voice to use a specific type of formatting right here. So you can really be creative, but I wanted to have a bit more detail. So that's why I use summarize the following, give me a detailed breakdown of all the important points. Okay, so that is for your prompt. Okay, your prompt for the summary. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you have three different options that the extension suggests if your video is longer than 20 minutes. So ChatGPT has a word limit. Normally, you can summarize videos up to 20 minutes in length. For longer videos, the quality of the summary will depend on which part of the video you use. So here you have your three different options for the content of the video. So it is really up to you to decide which one of these three options you will be using for these longer form videos. So equally sized chunks. So what's going to happen is that ChatGPT is going to analyze different chunks of text that have been selected within the entire script. And they will just grab equally sized chunks of your transcript and just review them until the maximum token limit has been reached. So that is the first option. The second option is to start to limit 
limit. So focus on the details. So it's going to be detail oriented, but it will just start at the beginning of your transcript and go all the way to the limit of the tokens that are permitted by ChatGPT for this specific prompt. But this one will give you a more detailed summary. And then the last one is not recommended by the creators of this extension, but it will analyze the entire content. So I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, I will leave it up to you to try it for yourself. All right, so I'm going to leave it as the default one. I imagine it is probably the best ones. That's why they made it the default. What else do we have? We have summary icon on web pages. By default, this one will be hidden, but let's make it visible. And I'm going to show you what that does in a minute. So there you go. And then we also have a keyboard shortcut which is control or the little command key here on the Mac and then XX two times X. All right, so that is for my settings right here. So since I changed the prompt here, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to just close these two windows. I'm going to leave this one open, might come back to it later, but let's come back to our video right here of Diana. Remember the previous summary of this video that I generated with this icon gave me five bullet points. So let's try again. I'm going to hit that little chat GPT icon again. Now I can see that the model that has been chosen is GPT-4, again, because I'm using the paid version of ChatGPT. And my prompt is summarize the following and give me a detailed breakdown of all the important points mentioned in this video. Do not skip any important data, okay? So let's see the answer this time. All right, ChatGPT just finished writing my summary. And from the get-go, I can see it is much better than what I had in these five bullet points. So it starts like this. First of all, it's super well formatted, so it looks nice. It looks easy to read. I have my video title. I have a video summary. The video demonstrates how to create subtitles using Canva, saving editing time. The steps apply to short video formats for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. It explains a step-by-step -step guide for creating a script, using Canva to create a video document, uploading videos, creating text boxes for subtitle, and adding the subtitles to the video. Finally, the presenter demonstrates how to mute the video clips and add a music track and download the video. And then, I have just as I asked a list of all the important points or the important steps in Diana's tutorial. If you have watched this tutorial, you will recognize the different steps. So there is a preparation phase where you need to kind of break down your script into short sentences. Then it starts talking about Canva, like the Canva interface. Tutorial begins by opening Canva and creating a new video document. Videos for the project are uploaded to Canva, creating text boxes, subtitle positioning, bulking subtitles. Subtitles are created using the Bulk Create app available for Canva Pro users. So I like that every single piece of information is correct and relatively detailed. Adding subtitles to videos, adjusting the subtitles, additional features, muting videos and adding a music, and then downloading and uploading. The presenter concludes by asking for feedback and sharing links to a 45-day free trial of Canva Pro, a membership in the channel, and other tutorials using the bulk create feature. Now that is a robust summary step-by-step -step summary without leaving out any important information of my video. So if I really wanted to learn from that video without watching it, without spending the 14 minutes, I would just read that and try to recreate this in Canva. Now, one last thing I would like to do before I wrap up the tutorial is to compare the performance of the free version of ChatGPT. Now, this was GPT-4, so the latest model, which only comes with the paid version of ChatGPT. Now, my question is, would that summary be as good if I had used GPT 3.5? So I'm going to go back to my settings, which are right here, and I'm going to use the model as the default one. Let's go back to default, which is what free GPT users are going to be limited to. So it's still the same prompt. And I'm going to come back to the video, which is this one right here, and launch this summary again, this time using GPT 3.5. You can see it here. Let's see. So I still have all of the different points. I kind of lost a bit of the formatting, but I have all of the different steps right here. So the video title, effortless subtitles, bulk design in Canva, nah, 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 provide a tutorial on creating subtitles using Canva, a graphic design tool. It's a breakdown of the important points mentioned in the video importance of subtitles, purpose of the tutorial, overview of the final result, 
preparation. Okay, so we are kind of like recouping what we had in the other one, accessing Canva, video document, okay, uploading your videos, customizing the text boxes, positioning the subtitles, using the Bulk Create app. Note that the Bulk Create app is available for Canva Pro users, so yes, not losing this information, connecting the scripts, linking subtitles to the box, generating caption pages, adding videos, rah, rah, muting final result. The video concludes with the presenter showcasing the complete video and requesting feedback on the method. They encourage viewers to share other creative ideas and tutorials in the comment section. Additional resources. The video suggests watching other tutorials featuring bulk create and offers a 45 day free trial. Guys, all the important information was there. I lost the formatting, but I guess it's just a question of like regenerating the answer and asking for that specific formatting could be obtained even though we are using the free version. I don't think we lost the formatting because we downgraded from GPT-4 to 3.5. I think it just got lost in translation, to be honest. So now, one last thing I want to show you is that you can also use this Chrome extension for summarizing articles. So let's go find one. This is an article from the Canva Learn blog. So I have an entire page here about what is brand management, how it works, and how to do it well. So if you look at the bottom of your page, you should see this little chat GPT logo right here. It's quite discreet, but it's right there. And that is your extension right there. So click on it. And similarly, like chat GPT will use the same prompt that you have in your settings. So summarize the following and give me a detailed breakdown, blah, blah, blah. We are still going to be using the model that you specified in the settings. And there you go. You should have all of your different points right here. So the video title, what is brand management? So it's not a video, it's an article but doesn't really matter. So gives you a breakdown in 16 points, all the important points of what's in that article. So you can read that in, I would say maybe two minutes instead of maybe 10 minutes. So that is already a great win for me, a great productivity hack. All right, I'm gonna leave it here for today, short and sweet as promised. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video until the end. I'm gonna leave you with our AI playlist that curates a bunch of other useful AI tools just like this one.